On the panel today, Cliff Albright, co-founder of Black Voters Matter, is with us, and Republican strategist Malik Abdul is with us as well. Cliff, you first. This, this idea that you know you you have a new candidate, so you're going to have new energy. The Harris campaign just put a, a press release out a few moments ago. They said they've raised $81 million in the first 24 hours. So that would be energy, right? What do you what do you say about that and how much how far it can carry her? <laughs> well, it, it can carry her straight to, to the White House. Um, yeah, we're seeing a lot of energy. You know, it's been well reported. There was a call with with black women, women with black women that had 44,000 people, black women, on a Zoom call last night. In just those three hours, they raised just on that call over a million dollars. Um, you know, we do a lot of work with young people at HBCUs and college college campuses. The chat group there has been on fire. Like They are energized. So we're seeing it. We're seeing it amongst small donors. We're seeing it amongst uh, uh, voters. We're seeing it amongst some of the activists. They have to actually go out and knock on doors and, and make these phone calls. And so, yeah, we think that it's going to carry us straight to, to victory. The question is, is um, from the Trump team's point of view, Malik, is, are they ready for it? Here's a group of black voters uh, speaking over the weekend in Atlanta, Georgia, about Biden getting out, Harris getting in. Listen. I would pick uh, Kamala Harris, definitely, um, just because it's something different. The country, you know, we still have not had a, a woman president yet. Uh, so what better opportunity now for that change to happen? If it was in between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, I would vote for Trump. Me, personally, I would just I would stay where I'm at, in the middle. So, you know, mixed reaction there, Malik. I assume you'll stay with Trump, right? So you, you, it's there's something new. On the Democratic side, it definitely changed this race. I don't know if any of us knows exactly how yet. What's your take? Well, what I'm hearing, if you look at many of the reporting out there, Kamala Harris does seem to be galvanizing one community, particularly the black community, which is the natural constituency for the Democratic Party. The question is, is whether a Kamala Harris at the top of the ticket will be able to galvanize in places like Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, because it just won't be the black vote. It would have to be a larger um, constituency that she'll have to pull from. The problem or the question that Kamala Harris has is how important will race and gender be and how they run against Donald Trump. Because I believe that that will be a very um, powerful tool that they'll use. And Democrats has, have successfully used race specifically against Republicans. So I expect them to go in on that. How Donald Trump responds to it right. will determine whether or not he becomes president. Oh, yeah, what about using it the other way around is what I was thinking when you were saying that as well. Cliff, your, your take on that? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of energy, and I guarantee you it's not just amongst Black voters. Um, it's, it's all across the country that we're seeing it, um, including in some of those key states, like Pennsylvania, like Michigan. At the end of the day, don't take my word for it, Connell. Like, take, take Trump's own word or take his team's. Stephen Miller was on Fox News almost frying tears about the fact that Biden well, was no longer in the race. Donald was tweeting, not tweeting, but his true thing uh, about how unfair it is. It's fraud that they've switched. They are scared to death. And so you don't have to take my word about it. You can just well, look at, at their own reactions. They see the energy. They see what's going on. And yes, I would love for it to be a, a matter of race and gender and equity. We've seen the impact that abortion rights and reproductive rights um, has had on all of these elections that have taken place since Dobbs. We are looking for Forward to Kamala Harris being able to prosecute the case against Trump and Vance about about Project 2025. That's the good part about Biden having dropped out, and, and we thank him for you know even though he was pressured, we thank him for that because now it allows us to focus on the issues and the policies and Project 2025 instead of just being focused on Biden's age. What about? Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.